Conor McGregor is looking forward to Clarissa Shields' MMA debut next month, wishing the three-division boxing champion the best of luck ahead of her highly anticipated fight against Brittany Elkin at PFL4. Respect this multi-weight boxing world champion. Competing in her first MMA fight next month. A rare occurrence that is to be lauded with praise. Real courage a lot of her Malay counterparts do not possess. Good luck Clarissa. Another multi-weight. Multi-sport savage. Welcome, McGregor, who fought, and lost, to Floyd Mayweather Jr. in a super welter. We got into sparring again a lot this this uh, this camp, trying to get my head movement down, so we'll see if it uh, works. Was that something you hadn't been doing a lot of sparring? Oh, you've seen my fights. I don't move my head ever, so. <laughs> That's what makes them fun, right? UFC President Dana White would prefer to see Osman vs Covington Part 2 but, after suffering a broken jaw and being finished in their first fight, the Nigerian nightmare doesn't feel chaos deserves a rematch. I'm not gonna say I don't want the fight, Osman said of Covington in a recent interview with ESPN. I want all the smoke. It doesn't matter who it is. I want all the smoke. At the end of the day, it's what have you done to earn this? Your claim to fame can be, oh, I went five rounds and then the guy broke my jaw and finished me. That can't be your claim to fame. Masvidal went five rounds with me too. Tyron Woodley went five rounds with me. You can't sit around and fight three fights in three years and expect to get a title shot when I just fought three times in nine months. The champion can't be the most active guy in the division. Yes I do want to see how those play out because there's a lot of implications, Usman said. If Leon looks spectacular, it makes sense. If Nate looks spectacular, that could make sense as well. With the whole Marvin and Israel situation, I don't necessarily want to think about that. I'm 100% behind Izzy and I think he can pull it out. I love Marvin as well but I think Izzy can pull that one out. He's done it before and I think he can and I think he will. But if there was a case to where I would actually go up and challenge for that belt, it would be without Izzy being in the picture. So if Izzy's not champ, then it's something I could take a look at. Usman will be keeping a close eye on Edwards versus Diaz, but also the UFC 263 headliner between Israel Adesanya and Marvin Vettori, with Usman hinting at a move up to Joshua Fabia, the coach of Diego Sanchez, has made some serious allegations against Dana White and Sean Shelby. Over the past couple of weeks, Sanchez and Fabia have been going at White in the UFC. Sanchez was then released by the promotion and White said it was due to Fabia being crazy. Somehow, this creep got into Diego's life and has been controlling him. You saw the video of him chasing guys in the octagon with a knife, White said about Fabia. How FG nuts is that? He goes to the commission and tells them that he's taught Diego this death touch. It goes on and on with this guy. He goes into the fighter broadcaster production meeting and tells the commentators what they should be saying. The guy is bats T nuts. He worked his way into Diego's life and has gotten control over him. I just want the best for Diego. Why isn't nobody talking about 
that the reckoning happened, and that Dana White gets to Fouquet fighters, Fabia said during an interview with John Gibson. How many female fighters has he, White, has sex with? How many female fighters has Sean Shelby had sex with? This is the truth, man. And so, let's just get real, Fabia continued. There's a lot of dirty, ridiculousness, and if you don't want to clean it up and address it, and do this. Yep, man. I do have to show videos. I do have to show things because nobody else has recorded anything. Nobody else has protected themselves. Nobody else protected their fighter.